Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Minecraft The Finds SMP episode. Hopefully you guys are having a really good and fantastic day. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I really want to go on over within this episode, such as a lot of things I've changed around the SMP. Uh, if you, I can't really explain it, and I'm really sorry for everything that's happened. Uh, likewise with the SMP, I know you guys have been really enjoying it, and you guys haven't really been getting much uploads. And I just haven't been really liking the series as much anymore like i like the series i like to play on it i like to record it. i'm always on it if i go to my statistics you'll see uh where is it it's played 4.3 days yeah that's a long that's a long time if you guys think about it like 4.3 days of just consistent playing that's a really long time and uh just let me go ahead and turn off that that might give you a little hint but what we're on but uh, yeah, a lot, lot has really changed on the SMP recently, and my controls are also all whack. Um, okay, let's put that back and see. All right. Anyways, yeah, a lot has changed on the SMP. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over. I'm really sorry for everything that's happened so far with this, and I wish I can change. If you guys do want me to restart. Like everything back from when I last left off on the episode feel free to let me know below but uh, yeah lots of episodes um, I want to go ahead and start explaining what happened to my episodes so it was all good it was all good it was good in the hood and so recently uh, about two weeks ago <clears throat> two weeks ago my videos just kind of I kind of leave my videos by accident and being the stupid stupid derp I am I for I leave him permanently and move into my judgment which actually ended up corrupting or not corrupting but um, I tried getting them back any way I possible and it would only be the audio and half the audio would mess up all you hear is like static and stuff like that some will sound like it's echo and it was really really bad I really wanted to make an episode like this for you guys so much for like so long but it hasn't been possible guys because i've been like every time i this is my fourth attempt doing this episode because i really want to get this out for you guys and it just hasn't been possible because every time i record it i'm always just like uh, like it disappoints me like i really am disappointed in myself for letting myself delete it and then push a series off for so much and i know some of you guys have been asking where the smp has been where it's like what's going on with it is anything gonna be happening with it did you quit um I'll, I'll let you guys know i did not quit and i've actually not uploaded for like three to four weeks now it's been like almost like a month since i've last uploaded which is absolutely insane and i cannot believe it and after all the support on my last episode i don't know what to say like i'm sorry you guys i really am pretty much sorry uh, I've been trying to get a thumbnail for it, a new one, because the other one, it's kind of, it doesn't match how I like to use my channel. I like to do, like, very vibrant feels, very, like, homey type feels, and that thumbnail kind of doesn't fit the description, but there's a lot I'm trying to do for my channel. I want to really, like, fix the SMP series, kind of, like, bring it back, maybe do it every other day, question mark? Yeah, we'll have to talk about that, but... If I can get enough support on this episode, I will be thinking about doing every other day. Now that summer is just now that summer's just around the corner for most EU people and is here for all the US people. There's nothing much I can really say, but like yeah, we're back. We're probably gonna be back on the grind if I can get enough support from you guys. Even though I'm probably gonna do it anyways, because I really do miss uploading this series. It was probably one of my favorite series to do, along the side of just funny moments and funny videos like that. Uh, but yeah, um, there's a lot of things I really want to go over with uh, the SMP. A lot of new members, a lot of old members, a lot of different changes, a lot of shops, and a lot of people leaving. Um, as you guys don't know, uh, I don't have any of my old clips anymore, but this is a shop that I built with Adam, and he ended up leaving the SMP uh, to pursue a new path on YouTube, and I never got to like show you guys the clip and all, but this is my inner chest. Uh, I lost an end event, uh, I lost another event, I lost a lot of things, and it, it really like pisses me off and grinds my gears that I lost those, and there's nothing much I can really say, but I'm pretty much sorry guys, I even got elytras, but I mean, it's useless now because I don't 
have like the event to show you guys which really grinds my gears in, in ways that are unknown but yeah anyways i'm gonna, just gonna go over hopefully you guys can forgive everything um if you guys want me to start on gear and personal wise as you guys will be seeing my house in the upcoming episode episodes no upcoming clips uh give it three to four clips you guys will be seeing how my house and how much it's updated and yeah so anyways uh this is the uh, my enchanted delight shop um first things first let's take off the shoes um, okay, so I sell a lot of different books. I sell Fortune 3, I sell Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, and Depth Shard 3. I also sell Sharpness 4, Prop 4, Mending, and Frostwalker. Now, I have all these Mending and Frostwalker books, and you'll find out why I do in a couple minutes, but if we go down here, um, I do have some payments. I've been getting a lot of payments, which is what my inner chest is full of, because uh, I, don't even, I, don't, I never go mining anymore, but yeah, this is what my inner chest is full of. Um, a stack and a half gold blocks, 48 diamond blocks, uh, two stacks and a half and 44 iron blocks, a uh, stack of glasses, another ender chest, nether star, dragon egg, beacon, power five bow, uh, fish and tea, uh, well, two fortune, two fortune pickaxes, okay, uh, silk touch and my elytra, which I'm actually going to show you guys in a couple minutes, but it's a really cool, really cool thing. Um, another thing that happened was a potion shop. Rough Ghost built this. Um, he ended up leaving the SMP, so we're not sure who's gonna own that. We're probably gonna once we get, if he ever comes back, we'll give it to him. But by the time, by the time means, we're probably gonna do something with it, as like there'll be a temporary owner or something like that, something of that sort. But um, another thing is we have uh, national ATMs all around the spawn with anvils. Uh, crafting table and it just to fit all your needs with a nice fancy sign up there me and joe decided to do this kind of design because it's very compact and looks really nice from both front and back now the next shop we have i believe this is mr triple bob who actually is not on the smp anymore but he was selling coal and such like that which was pretty cool so yeah next we have one of the best shops on the server probably the most creative is beats by zero which is another shop i own um, it sells just beets, as like you know they just added beet roots and stuff. They sell beets pill, uh, beet studios, which is a golden gig two gold block, which I should probably I'm gonna make this one gold block because I feel like two can be a little bit pricey. All right, one gold block, pinning it down. Uh, we have my smash hit, which is uh, something I get from a skeleton shooting up a creeper. Uh, my greatest hits. And I have all these. People have actually bought some, which is pretty cool. And my new mixtape, which is just some little, like, I don't know, a CD that... What CD is this? I don't have a few blocks I can play it in. Okay, I guess we'll find out some other time. Then I have a funny little sign saying, follow me on Pinterest. I have zero rap god. And follow me on SoundCloud, zero raps. Now, I was thinking of making an actual, like, an actual, like, thing. Like, two things for that. But I was like, uh -huh. Rather not, but... Anyways, this is a uh, big shop who's actually a uh, newer member that you guys haven't seen yet. He's also from the UK. He's like my new Adam Metallic, but he's really cool and he's a really good builder. I definitely like his builds. Uh, I'll show you guys another hub, which is actually something he's working on. But he sells a lot of different stuff like uh, like Wither Skulls, the Blaze Rods, to Nether Quartz and stuff, which is actually a really good price for Nether Quartz. And Nether uh, yeah, but anyways, another shop that I can show you guys is, uh, we'll go, we'll get this one. That one's probably one of my favorite shops on the server. It's probably one of my most creative, in my opinion, because I do own it. Uh, we have Green River's Horse Stables, and it sells name tags, saddles, and horses, uh, different horses, of course, and I think that's someone's horse, but I do not know. I'm not going to touch that saddle, and we can just go ahead and pay there. Now, the next shop we're going to go ahead and go over is... Papa's Pasta Palace, which is a shop I own. I sell soup and I sell bread. Uh, I, I don't. This is not one of my most popular shops, but it definitely is a really good shop in my opinion because it is pretty creative. But I feel like I went up there fast. But uh, up here we have a Hitman shop, which basically you would just go through, da da da, client name, extra sure information, and then just you know if you guys want to go ahead and actually. This is not the full book. Uh, I'm going to remake this book because it's kind of way too pricey, but go ahead and feel free to pause so you guys can read this.
yeah so it's kind of pricey at the moment i'm probably gonna edit it but yeah anyways this probably gives me a really good time to t uh, show you guys my light shot uh so over there is that building we're gonna fly to and can we make it through the door and we made it through the door okay this is the mayor's house this is something that i'm working on the exterior bake's gonna be working on the interior and it's a really cool it's a really cool build it's probably one of my favorite on the server because it's like one of the best builds that i've ever i've ever probably built because it takes such like creative critique and takes such like it's, it's such a hard time to perfect it because like even the sides are really hard to do like, if i go over here i'll go and show you uh we're gonna get rid of this hill but for now it's there but like it's such a hard time to really like get these like builds like try to get done like this is a build that's been in the works for like three weeks now and still haven't done it as well as like there was a clip all these okay guys if you guys want all these clips they're all on other people's channel you guys can go and check them out like isaac has the end event up um i know bake has the white house build joe has the nether events and unfortunately i don't have any of them because i was i just look wow stupidly but anyways, this is Corey's enchant enchanted tool shop. He ended up leaving too and, and uh, went off to make his own boy project. Uh, SMP type thing with his friend, uh, Chris. But um, it's a really nice shop in my opinion. I think it looks really nice. But hopefully he leaves to left, which was, this shop was actually my rival. Options, music and sounds. This shop was actually my rival. So I'm kind of glad he, uh, like he can't run it anymore. But unfortunately he did leave. Now this shop is uh, Wombo Combos and Splashes Logging Industry. Now this is what are wood are us. All right, this shop sells lots of wood. Um, Thirty-two for a diamond. Am I, is that correct? Thirty-two for one gold block for a diamond, which is actually the currency, as I believe we've established. Uh yeah. yeah I believe we've established that, but next one is. Corey's food shop. Uh, this shop was really, this shop was one of my favorite shops because I would always buy the baked potatoes because they were a diamond for a stock, and they were so cheap to get because it was like easily done. Uh, we have another ATM which I actually want to set up a beacon that spawn later, so we might use that beacon up. Uh, just watch shop. I have showed this off before. Nothing has changed except for I think. Yeah, now he actually has quartz, which is one stack for a diamond. Such. I actually might need to buy that. Now, next one is uh, Clean by Professor Austin. I don't know what that's gonna be. Um, I didn't. I didn't go over this one. Let's go over this one really fast. This one was the new stand, and it was run by Cody. Uh, I'm not sure what, what he's gonna do with that. Um, you guys can go ahead and you know, kind of just like go through with this. All right. There you go. Uh, it's actually really funny. I, I really do rate it. Sadly, I don't think he's on the server. I believe. Question mark. But yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and use this elytra. I mean, if I have it, I'm gonna use it. Uh, unless you guys don't want me to use it anymore because of uh, reasons. Now that shop's not really a shop. It's just like a little joke type thing that Luke did, uh, who actually ended up leaving the SMP because of issues. And now here's a hippie. Uh, hipping hop karaoke bar and this is actually in the ghetto uh, i i decided to make a ghetto because i want to make a strip club right here right across from the karaoke bar which would be pretty funny so it's a really nice little thing that we're probably going to be doing for an event uh it's, it's kind of small but it looks really nice it took me forever to get this wool and the roof was really hard to do in my opinion because it was very like different critique i guess you could say now next you guys would see these rings around spawn these are elytra rings uh elytra wings we uh, i plan doing an event with them with the elytras so we can see like who can get the, through the most rings who can get through the oxo course and stuff like that now next one we have is will's uh i believe his c his c shop where he's gonna sell like uh all these blocks uh like sea lantern sponges and stuff like that which is actually really cool uh maybe we can take a sneak peek yeah, that's how it looks inside. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I gave him the idea with the water as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, next, I believe this is a wool shop. 
uh, I'm not sure. I gave him an idea of maybe making something like, oh, like a sheep head, a giant sheep head that has like a mouth open where you walk through it. But I'm not sure if he's gonna go through with that. I believe that is liners, liner, liner. I don't know how to say in plural. Uh, next we have the salt shop uh, by Bionic, of course because he is probably one of the saltiest people. Uh, no offense, Bionic, please don't hate me. Uh, but I helped him build the shop. Uh, what I did was I did like the little S on the top of it, and I kind of added this to resemble salt, as if salt was on the ground. And I kind of just put chest around here because I wasn't sure what he was gonna sell. So uh, now we have the mending hut, which is run by Joe, and I believe he sells mending books and sea lanterns. Uh, mending books are ten diamond, ten gold blocks, which is why I sell mine for nine. So that's kind of that's kind of like the rival, kind of. I'm always restocked though because I always have. Actually, do I have any books? Um, yeah, I always have books down here like Prop Four, Shark Four. I, I have like the main books that are probably gonna go out of stock. So, as well as some other books to enchant because if I need to do some level one, they combine because that's probably the cheapest right now, other than level thirties. But yeah, another thing I really want to do is show you guys another uh, the Nether Hub. The nether hub was, um, so it's something that Fake's doing, uh, this is like his little plan, he wanted to do like a little tour type thing, where it kind of goes like, through like two different areas, and like, I believe he's gonna make it go like two different big areas, I haven't seen his episode yet, I've always seen if he's uploaded, but it looks really cool, and then I kind of did my version of what I would like, do, cause uh, in case like, uh, cause I kind of want to, I told him like, maybe we can do like something like this, and I kind of just like did my own little version of it uh, to see how it would look. I didn't really quite finish it, but it looks pretty cool. And I kind of used the magma blocks, which don't affect me because I have Frostwalker on. But they do still make you take damage, even though they have carpet on. Which I think is pretty cool, but I don't see people walking on it. Like, unless someone's on half a heart, I wouldn't see it being a big issue. Now, uh, since the nether res did reset, uh, well, I mean, I can't really say it did reset because you guys haven't seen it without it resetting, so. Uh, the nether did reset for everyone else who has recorded the nether so far, uh, which that was my first time on camera in the nether. Uh, since I corrupted all my files, so we're kind of going to have to go back the old way because we don't, or nether portal doesn't link up to anything yet. And we got stuck. And we're stuck like this. I'm going to go ahead and cut and I'll be back then. Okay, we're slowly making our way to our base. Uh, more bubbles? Okay, never mind. All right, as you guys may see, our base has changed quite a lot. I mean, by quite a lot, it, it's changed a lot. Uh, now we have our own little villager uh, farm, which is how I get all my mending and frost books. Uh, we have a lot of baby villagers here, but um, yeah. If we just go ahead and look, that guy's new. I've never traded with that guy. Uh, that guy I've probably never traded with, but someone has. Uh, this is my Mr. Mender. He go ahead, he sells me my mending books for really cheap, which is 18 emeralds, and that's actually not a lot, uh, surprisingly, but he's probably one of my most prized villagers. If I, if I lost him, I would cry. But anyways, now we go over here. This is a horse I bought from Joe's Stable Shop. I bought this in a clip on during the end event, and actually haven't got him named yet. So if you guys do have a name for him, that you guys want to uh, name him go ahead and leave that in the comments below he kind of looks like a he kind of looks like a herald i have no idea like you guys go ahead and let me know what you guys want to name him below uh, i still have herman uh i found him apparently like up in the air somewhere he's all the way up there somewhere underneath glass so i can never find him but yeah that was in one of my episodes when i got like pranked or something like that so i'm putting him all the way up there i have an extra frostwalker books uh, now my Frostwalker villager is right here. He sells Frostwalker 1 for 18, so it's 30, uh, 36 to actually get 26, 36 for, to get a, like Frostwalker 2s, but I get stacks of emeralds from my villagers because I just keep trading and trading, so I also have 9 blocks. And I also have this skull, which actually I ended up getting from when I got my Elytra, which was pretty cool. And go ahead and wear this around or maybe use it for decorations as a prank or, or something like that but until then it stays up in my house and another thing i've also done was more like beautify, beautify up my beautiful like, 
make my area more beautiful with like some like little scenery and some pathways with some sugarcane leaves. I think it looks really nice along with my portal. Uh, unfortunately, where Frostwalker is going to ruin this. But, I mean, it should be. Yeah, it is breaking, so we're fine. Um, now, I'm not going to go through that nether portal because it doesn't lead us to anywhere else. But, I'm going to kind of cut this. I'm going to kind of cut this episode short because, I mean, I'm sorry that I didn't get anything done, but I really just want to get an episode out and explain why my episodes have been, haven't been been up and what I plan on doing with this series. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys want to, if you guys want me to restart all my gear. If you guys want me to, uh, to like, make some more, I don't know, sp uh, spawn builds. And if you guys also... Uh, leave, a, leave a comment on my on the name of my horse. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Leave a comment on the name of my horse and what it should, uh, what he should be named. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere down the line to peril or something, but go ahead and leave your comments below. I'll uh, just go ahead, leave the name, and whichever name gets the most likes, I'll go ahead and do. So yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye.